Okay, we're back with more fire in the lake. Oh yeah, we're starting to get really into the heart of the game, I think, right now. It's getting a little, little crazy, I think, for the uh, uh, coin factions, the Arvin in the U.S. I think that's probably because the Arvin has been spending a lot of their time building up patronage and not really taking the fight to the VC and the NBA, although they did very little in the first few rounds, has now really shown up and started to make their presence known. And honestly, this is probably one of the few games where I've actually been able to do so many U.S. casualties. I've been really able to make that an effective strategy. So this is going to be very, this is going to be an uphill slog. I am, I'm interested to see how this goes. I, I think right now it is tilting towards the NBA. But the VC, they look they look like they're in trouble in some places, but they have a surprisingly good position as well. Okay, so let's go down here. You're eligible. These guys just finished. All right, so last round, the last card we did was Main Force Battalions. The VC picked up that really nice capability, which I think is going to help them uh, tremendously in a little bit of a come-from-behind position because being able to ambush and take out two enemy pieces is... It's going to make it very dangerous for the U.S. to hang around any area where there's VC gorillas. Although, they, the, to be honest, the Arvin and the um, U.S. have the Cobras, which I need to really remember because this is a huge ability for them as well, to be able to sweep and remove an active piece uh, that, or a piece that they activate. Okay. So we're going to discard that. Let's draw another card. Oh, man, an NBA capability coming up on MIGS. Oof, oof. All right. We got Playmay here. What do we got here? Unshaded event. Uh, the CIDG interdict, interdict the NBA. Remove any three NBA pieces from a space with or adjacent to a coin base. Ooh, that's pretty good, honestly. That could be real good. And then the shaded. Uh, NBA free march from any spaces outside of South Vietnam and then free attack or ambush any one space. Ooh, that's actually pretty great too, but this is definitely a coin faction event. So honestly, this is like pretty hot. I think the U.S. would really like to take advantage of that. Unfortunately, they don't get to go first. They would love to actually go first. That would be huge, especially because the next event would be good to NBA each. Ooh, that's that's really good. Uh, NBA resources are minus six each reset. That would be really pretty not great. And then the shaded one, unless unshaded top gun, which we don't have, Whenever the airstrike degrades tail, he just removes one available troop to casualties. Oh, yuck. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty also yucky, too. Oh, man. Okay, what are we going to do here? So the Arvin in the U.S., the U.S. would love to go first because it would love to use its air power to come in and start taking out things, like dropping in and just, like, massacring a bunch of these troops. That would be nice, honestly. I don't know if massacre is the right word to use. That's probably a horrible term, but... They would like to get the decisive jump, let's put it that way, on some NBA cubes because they're everywhere. But Arvin gets to go first. And this is a pretty great event with or adjacent to a coin base. So could use this, get rid of three cubes. Doesn't seem that awesome. Could use this, get rid of the base and two gorillas. That seems a little more awesome. But the Arvin gets to go first. and I, So the Arvin could do this thing where it takes the event. And so we get like a little one-two punch where it sort of says, okay, you know, U.S., I can help you out. But the Arvin is so close to getting their coin and patronage win. Are they willing to sacrifice the good of the board to try to zoom out for a win? Which they might want to do. Because if you remember, we have the Young Turks at play. And so each Arvin governed special activity adds plus two patronage, which is real hot. Really, really hot. And they are so close. They, that would actually put them over if they did it. That's actually really good. And we might be getting very close to the next card. So this could be a... Oh, this is tough because the Arvin would really like to play nice. But I think they're going to just try really hard <laughs> to get this Govern win. They're so close. You have to do Trainer Patrol. And that's actually perfect because we would like to patrol more. So I think this is huge. This is huge. Patrol only costs us three resources total. We are rather poor as the uh, Arvin. So I think we will take the Offen Special. We'll let them have the event if they want it. We'll take the Offen Special while we can. <sighs> Let's go ahead and patrol. Spend three resources. So this is big, right? Because we actually shifted some guys over here so that we could actually get... Um, troops up to Da Nang, because we really wanted to send, start sending guys up to Da Nang to keep them from just, like, taking it over. So let's read patrol again. 
move any Arvin cubes to or along adjacent locks or cities, stop any insurgents, then on each lock we can activate a gorilla for each Arvin cube and if desired, free assault on that lock. Okay, okay, that's pretty hot. So I'd have to stop here if I wanted to go up this route, because I would like to get to Nang that way, but uh, we'd have to stop there if we wanted. We could free assault here, which is actually pretty nice. And I think, honestly, we might have to do that and then just clear up our way here. So we're going to take our two troops cubes. All right, we take one troop. Nah, nah, one's the city. Uh, two is just not enough, because they could easily subvert that away. So we'll take these three. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll just take all four, honestly. And patrol and back into Da Nang. That does leave this route open, but I'm less worried about it right now because now we got the guys back in Da Nang. That's actually very big. I have to stop here because there's insurgents. I don't want to take a cube out of Huey to move him down here. There's actually two guys on Route 1. That kind of sucks. Uh, where else do we want to patrol? Is there anywhere else I want to start moving guys around? Honestly, I just don't have enough cubes to start moving tons of things around. I mean, they're all kind of doing stuff. Can't move things out of unlock. I don't really want to do that. I could move things out of play coup, which is probably a hot move. And I could definitely take things out of contum and start moving them around, which I think is a good move. That's, I think, what we'll do. We'll take... This could be risky. We'll... Actually, you know what? I don't know. We'll keep them here, because I might want to pacify here. Actually, honestly, if I do that, it's just going to give the U.S. the least spend my money. I don't really love that idea either. I'm not really trying to help out the U.S. that much. So we'll take those guys out of there. Let's send another police cube this way. That way I can free up that troops cube when I get rid of this gorilla and we can start, we can keep moving up. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And we'll go ahead and take two more troops cubes just so we can get more troops up to Da Nang. We'll do that. I'm not entirely sure I meant to read the rules. If patrol lets me continually move, let's take a look. Sorry, I meant to do this before I did the recording because it's really dumb to have just dead air. Okay. Move any number of your faction's cubes from any spaces. Each cube may move onto adjacent locks or city and may keep entering adjacent locks. Oh, okay. So we can keep moving. That's actually kind of super hot. So we open that route up. So we'll just move these guys from there. They will come up here. I think we'll do that. We have to stop here because there's insurgents. This is fine. This is all fine. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, perfect. So now we actually have overwhelming presence in Da Nang. That's, that's huge. Ooh, I should bring a police cube. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep two troops back. Sorry, I've been doing a lot of these weird movements. And we'll bring two police up. Actually, we'll take three. You know, this is weird. I'm going to do this because I don't want the VC to subvert away my police. And I'd kind of like to maybe get that back into at least some level of control later or like a support. All right, so we did that. We can't go any further here because there's insurgent. We will free assault here. So return to available. That's hot. We freed that route up. And now we're going to govern. And we can govern in two spaces. We're going to govern in Canmara. Actually, we're going to govern in, in Quinon. And on look, and that's where we're going to do that in. Okay, so we're actually going to do govern correctly this time. And in one space, we don't have to reduce support. We will go ahead and reduce support in Quinon. Okay, so we're going to get, uh, what is that, one, we're going to shift one of these to, we're going to lose one aid. And we're going to increase our patronage by one. Hot. And because we did that, we actually get to increase our patronage by two because we have the Young Turks in play. Uh-oh, and then we're going to do one more, but we're not going to shift it down here because we have um, our special capabilities. So Unlock's going to add another patronage. We're going to lose one more aid. So actually, these markers are just going to flip up. Oh, man, there they are. They're in victory condition. We are close, close, close. All right, in faction play. So here's the deal. The U.S. now can do a limited op or event. It wants to desperately, probably doesn't really desperately want to use train to like keep Saigon. Because remember, one of the things they can do to keep to tamp down 
um, patronage is that in a train space, they can pacify one or two, or if it's Saigon, they can move up to three patronage uh, to Arban resources. They can't spend any Arban resources because we're below the econ level, right? So they can't actually do anything with the Arban. They could, see this is really hard because they could assault here and get rid of this, right? Because they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so they get rid of three pieces. Uh, that's not enough to remove everything. They could assault in one space, they could assault here and get rid of those, but that's less worthy. I could sweep again here and get rid of that one cube. That would be nice. Oh, this is tough because do we want to gamble and hope that we get like another... Oh, wow, really putting ourselves to the, the edge here. Because hmm. you want to keep prosecuting the war, but you don't want to lose the game because the, the coin faction did stuff. You know, that's not super great. Oh, this is this is an awful position, but I think we're gonna have to we have to just make sure we don't lose right away. So we are gonna use our limited op to train in Saigon, and we're gonna shift three patronage to resources. One, two, three to twenty-two. They're gonna get three resources back up to fourteen. And that puts them just below again. Oh man, they were they were very close, but they do not have it. They do not have it. Oh, that's right. They got one because they got that coin control back there. That was huge. Okay. All right. Just keep rocking. That was tough because, like, the U.S. is in a real pickle right now. I'd really like to not uh, have wasted a time on it. Oh, but look. See? Oh, oh look at that. That was brilliant. <laughs> the game could have ended. The game could have ended. And instead... We're gonna keep going. That was that was that was one of those good moves. That's one of those good moves. All right. So now what do we got here? We got coin factions. We have a monsoon that does restrict what we can do. We can't like march or let's once again take a look at our screen. Let's always look at our screen. No sweep, march, or pivotal events. Okay. And we haven't been doing the pivotal events, and honestly, that might have been huge. And I think those probably come into play next turn because things are starting to get a little out of hand. So I think the US is going to start wanting to put out linebacker pretty quickly. Um ooh, this is good. So the NVA could do something or it could just take this of capability, right? So unless unshaded, we don't have the top gun out. Whenever the airstrike degrades the trail, the US removes one available troop to casualties. That's kind of hot, but I don't know if it's hot enough right now because the game is like halfway over and I don't know how many more times the U.S. can airstrike. That might yield us maybe three or four more of these available to casualties, and they already are like hurting on their victory condition. I don't. It's going to be tough for them, so I'm not thinking that's going to be a great thing to do. I'm thinking we're just going to put the pedal to the metal. How many do we have here? Six, so I can't bombard away more. That could just totally decimate eight if I did that though if I bombarded but I think instead the NVA is going to want to maybe infiltrate not really terror they probably could just rally again and honestly that could be huge because I think they get twice the trail value for the resources that could actually be like worth it because they go to four um, we could rally I think rallying is not a terrible idea we have all the bases we want on the board that's kind of ridiculous why don't we rally and infiltrate? It's going to let us build up more cubes, which I think is huge. And we need to start replacing some of our gorillas with cubes because we're out of gorillas. So that kind of works for me. Uh, well, sorry, I keep pulling this up. I can do one or two spaces where NBA base or the NBA is greater than BC. So we can infiltrate in one or two spaces. And that goes with rally or march. So we're going to rally. And what we're going to do is actually probably infiltrate first and then rally. So that way we can get rid of some of our gorillas here. So let's say we're going to say we're going to rally in the parrot's beak let's go ahead and rally in the fish hook that's two and then we will do i want more cubes up here though i might want more. no 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 we might just infiltrate up here so I'll infiltrate there can't infiltrate there. well i could infiltrate there but i don't want to um i also have a bunch of gorillas oh i can only pick two spaces and Let's go ahead and infiltrate here. I think this is a hot move. Okay, here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do the infiltrate first because we can choose the order we wanna do things in, right? So we're gonna do the infiltrate first. So we picked one or two spaces with an NBA base. Both of those have NBA bases. 
If it's a base, we can place NVA troops up to the trail plus bases. That's huge. Uh, and if desired, replace the NVA guerrillas with troops. So we could have done the, the rally first and improve the trail to four, which would be nice, but it's already a three, so I'm, I'm, and I'd rather do this to free up the guerrillas to rally. So NVA troops up to trail plus bases. Trail plus bases. So the trail's value is at three. We have two bases here, so that's five cubes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, says uh, the US. This is starting to look not great. So that's hot. Trail plus bases is four, so we can put four cubes there. And then if we look at the second part, we can, and if desired, replace gorillas with troops. Okay, so that's something we're gonna wanna do. So we're gonna take all three of these gorillas and replace them with troops. Probably could have done this all at once to save my like self some clicks and save you a little time watching this, but hey, we're doing it that way so you can see how it goes. And up here we'll do the same thing. I think we'll replace let's replace three, because I like keeping some gorillas around. Return to available, return to available, return to available. Actually, fudge it. We'll just do all five. And we'll pick five more cubes out of here. Oh man, so the NVA is gonna be like ready to move next turn. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of cubes. Let's go ahead and do that so you can actually kind of see how many there are. Oh, buddy. That's looking great. So now we're going to rally. Infiltrates were free. Rally is going to cost us one, two, and then we're going to improve the trail. So that's going to be four total resources. So let's go ahead and improve the trail. Oh, we got all the way up to four this time. That is quite ridiculous. Do we get to add trail value to rally? If NBA base put NBA grows up to trail value plus bases. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So the trail actually gets done first. So actually, technically, we wouldn't be able to do that first. It'd be three plus one bases. Four gorillas could go down there. And then down here, we'd be able to do five gorillas into the parrot speak, which is, hey, just the perfect amount. Oh man, it's like the NVA is like completely on the board almost. That is dangerous. That is dangerous. Oh buddy, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so they did an op and special. That leaves you guys with a limited op or event. They don't really care about the event. They could take, so this is funny. They could take the like unshaded event and just to put the screws on the NVA because they're kind of like, you know, they're getting close to their victory condition, but they're not quite there yet. And they would honestly, could they do it? One, two. Oh, they would be so close. Wait, could they just win? No, because they can only do a limited op. Oh, they were so close to winning too, because they could have done a terror here and a terror here, and that probably would have won them the game. Right? Because we can... Yeah, you could terror as much as you want. Dude, the VC was so close to winning there too. They easily could have terrored in two spots and really brought the pain with four resources. Oh, that could have been so close. That could have been so close. <laughs> oh, buddy. That that was like very close to both sides winning there. That's ridiculous. So we could take that, just to put the screws to our little NBA friends, but I don't know. Kind of like having them be active, but maybe the little, that's a little too active? That would be a dastardly move to have the, the VC take that event and, and hurt the NBA that way. That's almost worth doing. That's almost worth doing. But is there something we could do as a limited event? We could rally here and bring in three more gorillas. That would be helpful could rally here we can't use any specials we could rally here but we're about to get flipped anyway because the reset flips all your gorillas so i'm pretty happy with that situation although i could just make this a huge quagmire by just rallying in four more gorillas no this is more vulnerable and i like keeping them kind of bogged down here so we'll spend one resource how many bases do i have oh wouldn't you love to put another base out though to get more resources yeah, you'd love to do that. But I think we're, we're being threatened here because of the Cobras. If there weren't the Cobras out, I would worry about this less. But honestly, every time they sweep, they can just do annoying stuff. 
So we'll pay one resource to get two plus the value of the pop. So three gorillas will go there. Oh man, that was that was very close. That was very close to having them win. That was very, very close. Okay. Okay. Everybody's gonna go back to eligible because we're about to have a coup round. Holy moly. All right, so this is one of those coups that is I've been talking about we never really had, which is the failed attempt. These are desertions. So let's go ahead and pull up our uh, little sheet here that we always love to use. All right, victory, so close. No one got to victory. We could have had two potential victory conditions and it actually might've been a tie. I don't know, but we're not gonna worry about it. It didn't happen. Any failed attempt desertions go first. This is not good for Arvin. They've been doing okay, but now they're gonna feel this. Arvin removes one in three of its cubes per space and place below. So basically, the RV, whatever current leader we have stays the current leader. Okay. Oh, man. One in three of its cubes per space. So every space we look at, which I don't know if locks count as a space. Do locks count? That's a very interesting question. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me. Let's take a look. Does a lock count as a space? Players and faction, the coup cards. Wow, that is a great question. I don't know if I've ever had that kind of. I guess it's a space. Yeah, we'll call it a space. That seems, it seems wild, but we'll call it a space. I don't think I've ever had this where I've had actual three guys on there. So one out of three in every space. So was this just cubes? Oh wait, was this cubes or every piece? Cubes, okay, cool. So like this doesn't count because that's two cubes and one guy, it doesn't count. This counts, so we'll remove this to available. Uh, this counts, we'll remove this to, remove that to available. Does not, does not count. Okay, on lock, that counts. This is gonna start getting scary because now they can just like march in that town with one guy. Oh man, yeah, so this is not great. One, two, three, four, five. So I gotta get rid of two, so we'll get rid of that. And one more police. We'll get rid of a police on that space. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll get rid of Fudge Knuckle. I guess we'll do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. And that was all the Arvin spaces we need to do that. So that was rough. That was rough. So now we have plenty of things to, to rally back. Nine? When did I have so many unavailable? Did I get rid of a couple that were double stacked? No, I just literally lost that many pieces, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, buddy. That's, that's un yeah, because I lost two here, one here. Yeah, that all adds up. You just think it's a lot. It does add up to be a lot. Okay. Rough. All right. So, okay, sabotage locks with more resurgence and coin pieces or adjacent to a, a non-coin controlled city. Uh, they, st oof, they still have coin control here. So we don't have to worry about those sabotages, but we do have to worry about these. Play sabotage. Look, I found out how to do that. Isn't that great? More than that, place is sabotage. That's two spaces sabotaged. Those are fine. Okay, cool. So I think that's gonna hurt them by two. So these values were one. Yeah, so it's gonna hurt their resources in a second, but we're not too worried about it. To raid the trail by one box, if any Laos or Cambodia space is going control, it is not. Um, then add resources as follows. The Arvin gets total econ 50 minus the sabotage. So they're gonna get 13 resources plus aid and adjust the total econ marker. Uh-oh. Have I not been doing that? <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's take a look here. Add aid of value to armed resources, then add as well. Oh, the econ is 15 minus the econ value of any sabotage. And adjust the econ to show the, the unsabotaged econ. 
Ah, uh, okay, that's not terrible. I have been goofing that. That's not terrible. So, like, I mean, it's not great, but I don't think it's really, I don't think it's affected the gameplay. So I have totally goofed on that the last few times, because I think we've had a couple of sabotaged um, things. So what happens is we're going to get 13 resources, we're going to add the aid, and then the econ marker is going to go to 13, because we had those two sabotaged, right? Like, we only got, this is, that's what that means. Okay, I was wondering, like, how you could adjust that, and that was dumb for me not to look that up earlier, but hey, we, we learn something new every time. Cool, so we're gonna get 13 plus our aid, which is 24, so we're gonna get, what is that, 37 resources, so 37 plus 14 would be 47, 51? 51, okay. Okay, pretty hot. We're about to lose a bunch of aid though, but it was really hot that we took all those aid events, right? The NBA gets number of their bases in Laos and Cambodia, two plus two times a trail value. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bases, and two times trail value, is, that's four times two is eight, so eight plus seven is 15, so they are up to 17. Wow, yeah, that's not great. Probably should have taken that event for the event in BC. That probably would have been nice. BC gets a number of bases, they have seven. We're up to 10 here. Subtract three times the number of, a, uh, number of casualties from aid. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, that's uh, 18 from aid. It's going to take it all the way back down to six again, so that's that's going to be rough. But if we hadn't have picked all these aid events, then the aid would be like zero, and they would have a lot less resources. So, you know, plus or minus. Support. The U.S. and RVM may pacify a combined tool of four spaces with coin control, police, and their own troops. They've got to police their own troops and coin control. Yeah, all right. There's no troops here. Uh, I mean, there's no police here, so we can't can't fix that. We're doing the U.S. first. The U.S. does not have that. Doesn't have police here. Can't do anything there. Doesn't have police here. Does have police here, but it's totally fine. Does not have police. So the U.S. cannot improve any of the spaces they're in because they have to have their troops, their police, and coin control. And that is just nowhere. That is nowhere because <laughs> Arvin totally skid skedaddled out of there. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not great. Should have left a troop in here in Hawaii. That probably would have been smart. Didn't do it. Uh, so the U.S. can't pacify anywhere. The Arvin now can do that. And remember, it costs less. We took this whole event, and we can't even use it. Uh, that was unfortunate. Should have thought a little more ahead. Uh, sure didn't. Okay, so where do we have troops, police, and coin control? Mm, not here. Not anywhere down here. That's already totally good. That's fine. Don't have police and why not? Can't improve it. Could improve Contum. I think we will improve Contum and we're gonna improve it. Uh, support, support. It's gonna cost us just two resources. Thank you, Mr. Cormer, Mr. Blowtorch here. Can't do any of those, we don't have troops. Uh, here we got troops and police and coin control. We've definitely increased that. That costs us another two resources. That's two spaces and we don't have police here so we can't improve way that kind of sucks and we don't have troops or police here so that's all we can do is two spaces that whole event really did not help us out that much i guess i should have tried to plan a little better for that i don't you know sometimes you just think you're going to get advantages and you just don't okay so we did that vc may agitate in four spaces with any vc and no coin control these are already active. Uh, they could do that here because there are VC and there's not coin control. That is probably what they're going to do. That's actually pretty hot. So what is that? We can do that, right? Agitate and force with any VC and no coin. One per space. So yeah, we're going to definitely jack that up. So that costs two resources. We don't have a ton of money to do this on, but we're going to do it. And we're definitely going to do that here too as well. Because we have VC, no coin control. So that's one more. Yeah, and that puts us firmly in the driver's seat for winning the next coup round, right? Because now we're already at 39. That's pretty great. And everywhere else, we're good. So yeah, I can't really improve that anymore. Redeploy. Remove all U.S. and Arvin pieces from Laos and Cambodia. Don't have to worry about that. Arvin must move its troops from locks and provinces without bases and may move other troops to cities without NVA control or any place with the bases or Saigon. So let's first do this first one. Must move its troops from locks or provinces without bases. Must move its troops. Uh, so we don't have anything there. So we'll go ahead and put this back in Kanto. Troops 
troops are good there. I have to take this troop out of here. We're going to move it back to Contum. There's a troop cube here. We'll move it back to Way. Move this back to Way because our troops cubes and locks. Okay. Uh, and then may then may move other Arvin troops to cities without NVA control or any US Arvin base or Saigon. So I could move troops all around, and then Arvin may move police to any locks or coin control cities within South Vietnam. So that would be hot here. Uh, I do kind of want to like get more guys, but I'm kind of like running out of cubes. I'm running out of cubes. I need to rally some of these cubes. This is really hurting me. I can't really. I don't have a lot to redeploy. Honestly, I just don't have a lot to redeploy. Like we could just throw one here just to keep them from like infiltrating on lock, which I will do. And the rest I just don't have anything to move around. I think we're just gonna have to hold tight. NVA may move NVA troops from any spaces to any NVA bases. Oh, see, this is where this gets hot because we have a base here. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be bringing guys there. Although I kind of like having troops here, although yeah, they can. Yeah, I like having those five there. That's hot. And we, I actually want to put a lot of pressure on taking a lot of stuff. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna keep those troops there. They're gonna stay there. I think we're gonna try to put the pressure on play. Oh man, this is gonna start getting nasty. All right, well we hold the highlands there. I could bring more guys in here and just make this a just total blah blah space, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I think that's pretty good. Then adjust all control. We have done that. It automatically does that for us. And then it is not the last round. So now we do commitment. Oh no, forget that. We're gonna do the troops thing. One in three troops uh, from casualties out of play, and then don't worry about that. Use places all troop casualties into any coin control locks or Saigon. I don't have coin control here. I could throw them into Saigon because this is going to start getting nasty. So we take two of these guys out of play because we had six total. Now I get to put these anywhere coin control locks or Saigon. Oh man, this is gonna start getting gross. We're gonna take these guys up here. I gotta do a little. Probably gonna start stacking cubes. Oh no. Because there's just too many. Too many. There, we can barely fit them in. Okay, because I, I do wanna just try to, like, right off the bat, try to just get this. Oh man, this is, this is gonna be a gnarly. This is gonna be a gnarly round. Do I wanna bring more troops in? kinda do <laughs> this is getting so bad we need to bring more guys in um, use may move troops totaling up to 10 minus number of casualties just placed so I just moved 4 so I can move up to 6 and I can move to 2 bases among available to any coin control any locks and psychon the bases I don't know if I really want to put another base out right now I don't know if that's like super I mean it would be very helpful wouldn't it be to really do the firefight here, which might be what we have to do. So I can move six more troops, and then, oh, I didn't see this. For every two US pieces moved from the map to available, the VC may ship one population by one level towards opposition. Oh, shit. Oops, I just cursed. I don't think I've been doing that either. I think I've not been reading this carefully enough, and that's probably could have cost us the win there. For every two USPs move from the map to available. Oh, I see. I have not moved the map to available. Because we still, we're just moving from available to the map. So actually I've been okay, because I don't think I've pulled anybody out. Oh my god. Uh, we're going to move, so we're going to move up to, sorry, we're going to move to six uh, pieces plus two bases among available to any coin control, any locks, or Saigon. We'll definitely put a base here. I want to get the, like, firefight effect here so we can start taking them out. Oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and move. Oh god, I can't believe I'm doing this. We're just so we're we're 100 committed. Unfortunately, we're gonna give the VC like a huge base. I don't know how we're gonna be able to get, ever get out of this war. Let's put three more cubes in Saigon. Holy moly, holy moly! This is gonna be a, a wild and woolly round. I don't know how the US is gonna be able to get out of this. Uh, this is gonna be tough. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's make sure we did that all correctly. Uh, U.S. places, uh, other troop, we did that. 
and they move troops to only 10 minus the number of casualties we put. Uh, so I guess I could do eight. Oh, the casualties just placed. So that was four, so I could put six. I put three up there, plus a base along available. We're good. And then for every two ES pieces moved from the map to available, we did not move to that, so we're good. And we're going to reset. Uh, we degrade the trail to three, remove terror and sabotage, all that good stuff. Trail goes down to three. Hit the reset button, because it does all that stuff like miraculously for us. In the faction play, mark all pieces is not moved. Everything's reset. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that was probably... Eh, what are we doing here? I think I did that wrong. Someone told me that I could like figure this out in a better way, and I just... No, I don't want a key. Yeah, there we go. We'll just discard that. <laughs> we'll just keep them on top. And we discard that. Okay, yeah, because they still stay the same, and we've already surpassed all the, like, two-plus leaders. I'm not too worried about that. It's probably, I'm not doing the best upkeep, but it's fine. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to stop there, because that was a lot, and there wasn't a ton of action, but we had to do some maintenance, and oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is getting out of control. So let's see what the next event is, the Armored Cavalry. It is an ability for the Arvin. The Arvin, one transport destination after ops may free assault. Oh, that's pretty good. And then the shaded one is they can only transport rangers, and it's not great. Arvin does get to go first. Oh my goodness, that was wild. So let's take a look. Let's do a little fit to the height. Let's take a look at the map. Not looking good. So many cubes. So many cubes. This is going to be really tough. The U.S. has so many deployed things now. It's going to be very difficult to like wage a war and then get these out and not just hand the victory over to the VC. Wow. All right. I think next round is going to be really crazy. Probably a lot of special events are going to get used. So yeah, that was a fun little round. I will see you next time.